Hello, YouTube. Hello. Today, I'm back here. <laughs> yes, today she's the camera person. Uh, today we are going to Blackstone. So we got this at Camping World. It's the the five piece professional. If you want to be a professional Blackstoner, yes. some uh, canola oil into this bottle. Why I this bottle is full of water. That way it's all set up and then we will open up the Can we fill it up? Yep. The spatulas here that's so that we can uh, keep it seasoned. Okay. And then the scraper which is also for cleaning up. Nice little uh, name brand Blackstone scrapers. So here is the canola here. oil, which you can use vegetable oil. Now, so what are we doing, Jenny? Are we going to unbox the new 22 inch tabletop Yes, griddle? we're unboxing this first. This was the five piece professional toolkit. Yes. For the Blackstone. Okay. And with it, we bought the 22 inch tabletop griddle. And this one has a couple bonuses inside. It has the lid, which doesn't come with a standard blackstone. Uh, or you can get the grill or the griddle without the lid. Because awesome. we're doing this on the picnic table. So yes. So we're going to switch things up. Absolutely. So now you won't okay, now. need any Dramamine. Yeah. I'm gonna hold the camera so he can finish the box. I know. Okay, so we got the uh, 22 inch Blackstone Riddle. Yes. And my well, hand waits to so hold the tablecloth down. Think. It is a little bit heavier, isn't it? But it's not real <laughs> heavy. I mean, it's something that I think I could carry out. It is. It's not excruciating, but not this, that I'm is like, the, this is weak the cover one. that comes in this one. I'm not really sure what the price of that is uh, normally, but I can put it up on the screen. Yep. Can use my move my tablecloth weights if you want. Package. Static electricity. <laughs> did you hear it? I did. <laughs> yeah, that's a it really is. And I've seen a thing too that they're now making concrete out of these. Concrete out of the styrofoam? Out of the styrofoam, yeah. It makes it lighter weight styrofoam or uh, lighter weight concrete. And you don't use as much concrete, which is good because we're running out of sand on the earth. So we recycle those into something useful now. Nice. This is sticky. It feels sticky? Yep, yeah, it is sticky. I wonder why that is. I don't know. He tried to pre-season it. <laughs> I did. No. So, what kind it of might meals? Accidentally rain here. It, I think it might. We are in Arizona still, which you guys are aware by now. Why we're still in Arizona? That's where the doctors are. Um, but it's a little. Strange that it's still, or that it, it, it's a little strange that it's gonna rain here it's in Arizona. Not rained in seems like a few months. It's been a few months, I would say. Mm -hmm. Okay, now here's your regulator for the one pound uh, Let me get a close -up propane like bottles. There. Yeah. there we go. 
And here's a close-up of the front of the griddle. And then the actual griddle itself, which I can turn around this way quicker than I could and easier. These are the also, these are the other bonus, which if I put it in there. Oh that's why. Uh, because this particular package had a second bonus, which was the um, grease cup liners. That's what it says here is the grease cup. What do you think, Luna? We gonna make you something on there? Some chicken? Oh, sounds no, I still good. I don't feel like this is stuff. See, that's what it is. It's that cardboard made it too thick to come out. Oh, okay. That is bizarre. Hi, Luna. She wants to help. She's a helper. She's my little. She sister. is a good oh, helper. She's my little helper. <laughs> It is getting ready to rain. So, okay, so let's. Where are we at now? Drop you down there. We need to get rid of this point of sale. Have that. Yep, we'll put that in here. I'm thinking you're right. Right now. Yeah, that is. That's the entirety of the weight of this thing. It's the grill, a yeah, griddle. Yeah, this is like a soaking up. Uh, mm -hmm. We can probably still do it, can we not? I don't know. I've heard that they are very uh, susceptible to men on the problems. Yeah. Well, when you grow up with these older generations, they know how to do it, and they pass the information on to you. So, is that how you learned? Me? Yeah. Yeah. No. How did you learn it? Um, because I'm curious about everything. So this is one of those things that, you know, it's it's chemistry, it's physics, it's all sorts of things boiled mm -hmm. into one thing, and so it interested me. This is your ass. So this regulator you're on here. The regulator. Yeah. And this is one that sort of swivels. It, it'll give you room to put your propane tank. It doesn't exactly swivel, but it just, it's mm -hmm. really uh, easy to maneuver around. Yes. And what is that? It's that a grease cup. Okay. Uh -huh. Put it on all the grease and food junk and everything else will go back in through here and drop okay. into this. They now sell these little liners where you don't have to clean that out. You just mm -hmm. take that out and throw it away. That's nice. Yeah. Because we're all about making it easy after a hard day's work or a hard week's work. That might be why it wasn't work, fitting and down in there. Come home and have you some food with a very little cleanup. Yeah. And you said that uh, that those nuts and bolts were possibly... Think, yeah, that's why we're not... I wasn't able to fit it in there. Gotcha. Because they've got extra little beats. That plane sounds like a Coast Guard plane at home. Alright. So inside the package you got four feet. You put them on under here. You take these apart. Nut and bolt. Mm -hmm. The bolt goes up underneath. You can get a better shot in here. Oh, okay. Right. Hold on. Put right there. You put mm -hmm. this through, just like that. Then you tighten up the nut on it. And then that's your feet. Repeat that four times. Three times. Four times would make it. Okay. Five feet. Five feet. <laughs> if you can put five feet on. It would be a little more stable. Yeah, it would. Quit. I was kind of hoping it would fix this problem. It would fix what problem? Uh, what problem? It doesn't line up properly, in my opinion. 
opinion, I, I'm a perfectionist and I like for things to fit the way they're supposed to. Well, so basically what I want to end up doing is fit. loosen these screws up eventually and um, spread that out just a hair. So what are you talking about exactly because I don't... I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Okay. So that's it for the putting it together except we need a propane tank. Okay. And then I guess I should move it. Oh, we'll put it together. So there it is. So now let's Probably start the process. This will get me out of cooking sometimes. Yep. <laughs> so let's start the process of seasoning this cast iron. All cast iron, all cast iron needs to be seasoned, which is just, which is just, um, protecting it from moisture, from rain, from water. Um, you don't want it to rust or oxidize, in other words. And then you also want to make it a non-stick surface. That's the two reasons that you will um, season it. Mm -hmm. We'll get into that here more in just a minute. We're getting ready to season this. And you can, you can tell that I'm a professional, clearly, because I just opened the box. It's the first time. <laughs> with this machine. Right? That's how you know. Yeah, put your hand yeah. on the griddle while you're heating it yeah. up. <laughs> so, turn this to light. There it goes. That's simple. Do we see flames? Yes, we do. Look in here, you can see them. And then same thing over here. There it goes. There we are. Perfect. And you have to push in on that a little bit if you want. Okay. And now we just wait for this to heat up and discolor. And then that's how we know what's Hi, going on. Astro, what are you uh, doing? There we go. Yeah. You got other stuff. Uh, we can cut to Luna and Astro. Yeah, I was recording Luna a little bit. Hi, you want to come up here? Come on. Yeah, Luna wants to be up here. She wants to help. You gonna help? That's my good girl. Yeah. We're starting to get a little bit of browning, as you can see on Brown the and griddle. Yellow. It's starting to this color. Yeah. Astro. So. No. Why are we doing it? Well, because you know, since we've been on road, which, uh, what was it? April 29th was our our anniversary. Right. People call it our anniversaries. Um, that means we've been out on the road for a year. Mm -hmm. Every meal inside the rig, or mm -hmm. we've eaten out, or whatever right. else. Um, and I decided I want to do a little more camping than tourists, because that's all we are right now. We're just tourists. Um, but I do enjoy camping. And we're mm -hmm. here. Why not? You know, I enjoy. Look out. Mm -hmm. I love being outside. Yeah. Um, we, so now with the awning, it helps. Right. Yeah, that's going to be nice. And it seemed like we went right from winter, which was really pretty cold for Arizona, from what yeah. I understand. They had a cold winter, to this hot, hot days, which there was probably about, it seemed like there was about two, three weeks maybe of spring, nice springtime weather. So what do we have left with this? Put in the oil in there? Quite a bit, yeah. We can go ahead and put the first layer on it so we can get this color in. The black so oh you can see where it's starting to get brown yep. and black and That's purple. What we're looking and, for right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so what you want to do is take some tongs of some sort. You can do this by hand if you have like decent sized hands or something, you know. Oh lord. Uh, get some of those heat gloves and that whatnot, but I wouldn't. What do you mean do it by hand? Like just take... You can take your towel and oh. you know, wipe it without the tongs. Yeah, that's, that doesn't sound like a good idea. That would not be uh, recommended but you just by us here at Sandy Park. A good layer here of oil. What you want to do, see this is where you could get really hot. Oh yeah, you can definitely uh, burn yourself. You want to coat all sides of this and get it mm -hmm. really good. 
and saturated with oil, right? Because, like I said, this is to prevent rust oxidation. It's to uh, make it a non-stick surface, which mm -hmm. you're not going to be cooking on the outside or the top edges of this thing. But you certainly don't want this thing to rust. It's relatively inexpensive, especially if you get it on sale like we did. But you don't. You don't want to waste your money. Yeah, wait. Especially you know if you take care of it. Oh, I do see rain coming down. Yeah, we need it here anyways in Arizona. Wow. Well, and that's what you're looking to do, right? So right now. You can see um, this is burning off. That's what the smoke is doing, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the point. What it leaves behind is um, the chemical equivalent of a nonstick surface. Oh, okay. I just got a raindrop on my head. Uh oh. You look see the that. rain? Oh, look at that. I feel it. Look at my hair. Oh my goodness, yep, here it comes. Oh my goodness. That is, that's really awesome, but we're gonna get soaked. Okay, so we have probably three fourths of the griddle is darkened, yeah. Probably discoloration, not quite black yet. What would happen if someone was to just go ahead and cook on a griddle that's not been seasoned. Well, um, my mother had some cast iron skillets like that. Mm -hmm. Everything you cook on is going to stick, like okay. really bad stick. Like, okay. got to really scrape it to get stuff off. Got you. Um, and then this has got a coating over it. This is not just straight uh, iron, mm -hmm. right? So it's, it's got a coating on it that's meant to be like a non-stick but it will flake off mm -hmm. you'll have big pieces chunks missing out of oh it. my gosh um where any moisture might be because like everything you're going to cook has got moisture in it mm -hmm. potatoes full of water steak full of water chicken right full of water. everything's full of water and so no matter what you put on there you're introducing uh, water mm -hmm. okay. and it is going to oxidize the, this rust proofing coating will, will be gone and and then it'll be just completely destroyed. Well, I, I say that, but it's not completely destroyed because you can recover these if yours is looking that way. There mm -hmm. is a process you can do to get it back to okay. the way it needs to be. Got you. Okay. Well, that's reassuring. Yeah. But you might as well do it right the first time. Because it's not that big of trouble. Right, right. We've been at it, what, 15 minutes? So okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then and in between. We'd be more successful if we had a rainstorm <laughs> coming yeah. our way. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get it done before the rainstorm hits. In order to ignite it, it's got a little electronic type ignition in there. Uh -huh. You go from the off position, this one right here, uh -huh. will be up here to off, push it in and turn it. Okay. As you go past that, it'll click and give you the full, that is hot. When you touch it, ow! The uh, front of the grill? When you're touching that little image to show it with us, <laughs> yeah. hot. It's hot. <laughs> well, that's not good. I just burned my finger. See, technically, what? Technically, it is not fully seasoned until you cook on it. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, so you want to get something that, like hash browns or onions or we have hash browns we have a uh, onions. something that can simmer for a long time uh steam even put a little uh -huh. water on it but you, you want to start with oil <sighs> you know cook it uh -huh. in oil and then you okay. can if it starts to dry out like say you got onions on there and it starts to dry out then you can put a little water on it on the rehydrate them okay. you want to show the the folks the coloration right now it's sure let's see here oh it's still rather, um, it's still like 75 percent. Yeah, they say, Fox, or, um, they say that you can turn this around, you can pick the 
just this iron oh, part. Oh, okay. Turn it around and put it uh, in a different area for the flame. I don't have the gloves to do that. I don't have the... Yeah, I we'll mean, get them. Well, I've got the welding gloves. Use, but right. still, you feel the heat. Oh, yeah. Really hot, well, I see why you would want to do that if it's unevenly heating, yes. which it appears like it is from the pattern of the... Um, well, seasoning. It's not seasoned until the entire thing is black. Oh, okay. Honestly, would like to make it a two-way street. I've seen some channels out there that have more involvement than others, but I would like to see. I'd like to hear from every single subscriber with that. I love something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to get into more polls, do whatever to get everybody involved. Um, and make it I'd a like real it, community. I'd, yeah, exactly. A real community, not just one in name. Mm -hmm. you know, I think that would be great. It would be. Yeah. yeah, the horses are not sure of this. Maybe they're not. They might say, what in the world is that sound? I've not heard it before. Well, this is about as good as it's going to get. I see. Yeah. It still hasn't gotten any browner on the edges. It, and it's not going to with its configuration. Probably because um, of the wind. It's the wind is blowing that direction. Yeah. The, and I've put four, four different layers on here. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, heat it up, burns off, do it again four times. Um, so it's not even, I mean, it's, it's, it's encroaching this way very slowly. Ooh. And it's really done well on this side, front uh -huh. and back, back here. These sides look good up here. So what's going to happen is that's going to be it for now. Um, I'm going to turn it down, turn it off. And then once it cools off, more than likely tomorrow, then I will spin it around. Uh, and do the other side? Just the, the top get more heat up at this end and mm -hmm. do this end as well. Okay. Okay. Day two. Day okay. two. We are back for we day are. two. And hopefully we'll get it some, this one in before it gets uh, too windy. We, I started it just a little bit ago uh, before we got the camera out here. As you can see, show them uh, how much yeah. better it's looking oh, it now. Way better. And what I ended up doing, if you can see this gap here, I just pushed it back so that it could get more heat on this area because the heat has to get high enough to uh, above the, the smoke point of whatever oil you're using. So for that reason you don't want to use something like avocado oil that's what a thousand degrees, 900 degrees? I don't know. Just check that the smoke point of it. You don't want to get it too high because this is just over, uh, just greater than 450 degrees is what it says on the package. Yeah, I don't know about avocado oil. I think I saw some that was 500. Yeah, I think there, so, I think there's different blends yeah, and stuff. So that's saffron, that's why I'm saying you got to you got to watch and make sure sunflower. what you're what you're getting. Yeah. So, so we have bought. But this is uh, we've been a on a couple different ones. Yeah, we yeah. and, and to experiment. That's what yes. We're doing. I didn't mean it right. But right now we're just using the canola oil. Yeah. There's a line here. That's where I had this really well seasoned. Right? Oh. And then today we're changing this coloration and stuff, but you can see that the oil's not yeah, built up enough. I see it. Even though we got the discoloration, uh -huh. so we keep going until it all is looking good. You are very meticulous this, and I like this. Yes, this is seasoned on this side. It is not a problem. This side has got a ways to go. This is something that I really appreciate you taking charge of. <laughs> I really do. I Okay, so as I'm editing this uh, video, I'm almost finished with it. I'm gonna try this again, third time. I don't care how it's turning out, 
but uh, just the basic information is that we skipped the last two weeks because the first week uh, Charlotte's mom died. She was 92 years old. Um, and then the second week was just because um, I was diagnosed with myelofibrosis. And it's been a lot of uh, struggle getting that. And we're still here in Arizona because that's where my doctor is. But we will be leaving very, very soon. So I want to thank everybody for watching this. And we will see you again next week.